Today in our 1995 Dodge Ram pickup, we're going to do a review and install of the Curt Extra Duty Class 5 2 inch receiver tube hitch, part number C15318. Now here's what our hitch is going to look like once it's installed. As you can see, it's a fully welded construction with a nice sturdy square cross tube for holding that extra weight. The only really visual out the end of our bumper is our Class 5 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube our pre-drilled 5 8 pinhole, and our chain hold downs on either side of our receiver tube. Our hitch is capable up to 2,400 pounds of tongue weight and 16,000 pounds of tow capacity. Next, we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements to assist you with selecting accessories for your new hitch, such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pinhole to the outermost edge of the bumper is three inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is 17 and three quarter inches. We'll now go ahead with the installation. Special note, on vehicles equipped with a custom exhaust, it may be necessary to relocate the tailpipes to outside the frame rail, allowing room for the hitch. Now let's go ahead and point out our attachment points. Starting at the end of the frame rail, there's a large circle hole that's been pre-cut out. This is gonna be our rear attachment point. Then moving forward on the frame rail, there's a third pre-drilled hole, it's a smaller hole, and then the second large hole, or fifth hole altogether, will be our forward attachment point. Now, starting at our forward attachment point, our hardware will be a half inch carriage bolt and the narrow spacer block. The carriage bolt will engage the block and go down through the large hole. Then for our center attachment point, we're gonna have another half inch carriage bolt, only we're gonna have a wider, shorter spacer block. Then for our rear attachment point, we'll have a bigger spacer block and hardware. We'll be using a 9 16th carriage bolt. Now keep in mind, laying on top of the frame rail could be some electrical wires, so you'll need to make sure that you don't pinch it between the carriage bolt and block and the frame. Now with all my hardware in place here on the passenger side, I'll move over to the driver's side and repeat the same process. Now with all our hardware in place, we're ready to install the hitch. To secure the hitch, for our half inch carriage bolts, we'll use the half inch flange nut. For our 9 16 carriage bolt, we'll use the 9 16 flange nut. Now, as we put our hitch in place, it's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help you hold the hitch while you install your fasteners. We'll install each fastener finger tight until we have them all in place. Now with all our hardware in place, we'll go ahead and tighten it down. Once we have it tightened down, we can go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated instructions. And that'll do it for the review and install of the Curt Extra Duty Class 5 2 inch receiver tube hitch, part number C15318 on our 1995 Dodge Ram pickup.